along the way with J and J. This is J here. Got a 1994 Class C Fleetwood Tioga motorhome. The uh, overhead bunk here needed a little work uh, after I got in and inspected uh, what I'm going to call a shelf. Uh, you could also call it a frame. And if you look, uh, went along this side and the front and all the way to the other side. Um, when we picked it up and when I looked at it before we bought it, it was not attached like the screws are given out. Uh, so that was my first order of business was to get this, get up here and get this uh, uh, bunk straightened out. Uh, we're not really going to use it. Uh, it's just the two of us. And we may have some nieces and nephews come for a trip or something, but uh, just want to get it done for, you know, just to, just so it's done. I don't have to worry about any water getting in. Um, there is previous water damage here. Um, the outside of the cab has some scuffs and scrapes and looks like it may have been some water damage before. Nothing recent. Um, I just from the looks of the wood and the smell is kind of musty. Um, so I pulled that frame or the shelf apart. Uh, not that it was really attached anyway and they had these seams duct taped. So I took all the duct tape off all along the way. Um, a couple of holes in the corners. Um, I believe there was a mouse at one point. They did have some mouse um, deterrent or poison in there when I took it out. So I'm going to reseal the holes. I got some foaming uh, spray foam, you know, expanding spray foam. I should fill in those gaps there. I'll take some silicone. I'm going to put some silicone or sealant on all the uh, nuts and bolts and, and screws and whatnot. Maybe run a bead along the seam of the, the metal bracket here. <clears throat> and then for fun, I'll just go ahead and reseal those with duct tape. Get it all covered up nice and good. Uh, hopefully don't have to worry about any water getting in. And then what I'm going to do is uh, reseal those, uh, the frame or the shelves. Uh, put some wood glue on the bottom and then put some uh, one and three quarter inch wood screws through. The uh, the screws I took out were probably just over an inch. Um, and I know I got a good two inches of, you know, um, wood to screw into. Uh, so we get those put in, put the tops back on, and seal those up <clears throat> with some double back tape uh, in case we ever do have to get back in them. They're not nailed shut or anything. Uh, and then hopefully we'll get the bunk back together and move on to the next project. Uh, again, this is Along the Way with J&J. &J. Uh, check back and subscribe to our channel for updates and uh, follow us on the blog. Click the links and see what happens. Bye-bye. Hey, welcome back to Along the Way with J and J. J here again. Uh, just a follow up uh, to the overhead bunk work that I've been doing. I went and I took some silicone and put a bead all the way along the edges of the metal bracket here, front sides, all the way around. Uh, for the two big holes in the corners, I took some of the expanding foam spray. Spray that in there. That's uh, oh, this stuff here big gap filler, great stuff. Um, you spray it in, and it, you know, it as it expands or dries, it expands. Uh, so I put that in the corners a little bit along the top there. Um, what I'm going to do now is just let that dry a little bit. I got to put a couple of nails in here to keep this board down. I know it's kind of tough to see with the sun coming in the window and all that, but uh, after that we'll get the uh, little uh, frame put back together, the shelf, um, and that'll be it. Okay, we'll come back when that's done. Hey, along the way with J and J here again. Uh, just a little update on the uh, bunk over the cab. I started to put the shelf back together, or the frame. Uh, so what I did here is I took some uh, Gorilla Glue, you can see it, uh, Gorilla Wood Glue, and I put a bead all the way along the bottom, uh, and then I took uh, four one and three-fourths wood screws and put them in uh, to secure it down. Uh, it's actually, uh, you know, it's not 
perfect, but it's tight, um, as it wasn't tight at all when I got it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the sides. Uh, it's a little tough of an angle to get a screwdriver or a drill down in there. Uh, so I start the screws first, get them just poking out the bottom, and then I just use a, a makeshift ratchet screwdriver with a little screw tip on there or a little stubby. Uh, and then I'll, I'll put the cover on the tops and hopefully it should be good to go. So we'll check back again in a little while.